All right, y'all, what's up? This is Mike, my man, Mike's Customs. Coming to you right here with this Buick. Uh, it's a GMC. Uh, pretty much anything between 2006, 2013, they're pretty much all gonna be the same in the Buick. Uh, basically, I was asked to come in here and do the rear brakes. I went ahead and did the front brakes. We did pads and rotors. Just wanna take a video documentation. It's always nice to see the work too, as well. And uh, yeah, so I went ahead and changed out front rotors, front pads. You know, it was your basic, they were dual pistons in the front, so I used a regular receding tool. Um, this side has not been done, so I just passed right by it. But back here, I wanted to show y'all something. So when I was working on it, uh, let me get a glove on y'all. Sorry about that, got one hand. But uh, I was told to do the back brakes and in the rear, it has this funky looking piston. So if you see, it has the two little dimples in it and it kind of looks like a, almost like an hourglass. That's how I've always described it. I'm gonna be careful because your emergency brake line and hydraulic line are attached. But basically how to remove it is you need one of these type of compression tools. I'm gonna show you guys what I use. This is a uh, Harbor and Freight, by Vinny, my little brother. But basically you take this tool this is number one, right? And it slides over, right? And it slides on here because you can't put it the other way. And then basically I take number three, right? This pops on and off, see, it's magnetized. So that pops on. And then basically what you do is, is when you set this in here, you'll crank this backwards, this, this bolt. And what it'll do is it'll push back on this plate that'll stop on the back of here. And then basically, once you've got it nice and tight and snug, then you just go righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then once you've tightened it a little, you'll have to back it off a little more to take that slack out. Again, um, I'm just taking this video to show you guys. I wasn't under the assumption that it was um, these type of calipers. Normally I charge 125 just for the rear brakes. Uh, if I was just doing pads, I'd probably be charging in the $80 range. Um, this guy right here got a discount. You know, he hooked me up. Uh, but he got pads, rotors, rear brakes for undisclosed price. I just wanted to show you guys the car, just kind of show you what I was doing. I actually was also asked to come back here and check out this air shock. As you can see, here's the air line. I mean, it goes in just as simple as it says. Um, you can actually see right here, it has a gap. So more than likely, either they put it on crooked, because you can see the top hat is bent, or they just didn't bolt it in correctly. I would assume both. But more than likely, it's just not bolted in correctly. Um, it is installed down here correctly. You can see the bolt bolts, one, two. Customer did ask me to take uh, some type of documentation. So I'm just showing the air pin lock, everything. The top hat looks kind of bent. It's not seated on the right side. And it did sound like a bolt was rolling around. Typically the shock tower bolts are inside the car and you can't access them from the trunk. But I always check the trunk first, then go into the back rear seat. All right, y'all. It's Michael with Mad Mice Customs. I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, leave a like, leave a subscription. Excuse me. Subscribe, like. If y'all see what you like, drop a comment. My bad. I always getting fresh to this every now and then. Hope you guys enjoyed what I saw, what I did, and how I did it. All right, y'all. Peace.